In this video, we'll be talking about thymic aplasia, and this is a high yield topic for USMLE Step One. So stay tuned till the end of this video. Thymus is a organ which is the training school for T lymphocytes. It's basically a primary lymphoid organ which helps in the development of the T cells. So inside the thymus, the T cells undergo specific training known as thymic selection, and there are specific lessons which are learned by these T cells. There is positive selection which teach the T cells to recognize peptides from an MHC molecule. And there is negative selection which tells the T cell not to recognize self peptides if presented on an MHC. That is why thymus is really important for T cell production and overall immune response. And in thymic aplasia, thymus development is abrogated. There is underdevelopment or complete absence of the thymus. In most of the cases, there is an underdevelopment of the thymus. This is associated with a sim syndrome known as D. George syndrome. And it is commonly associated with the micro deletions associated with 22nd chromosome 22q11.2 to be more specific. Now, D. George syndrome has different clinical presentation. This particular summarizes the clinical presentation. Always remember catch 22. C for cardiac defects. There are several cardiac defects that are associated with D. George syndrome, which we will talk in a moment. But there is ventricular septal defect, atrioventricular canal defect. There could be also tetralogy of alloid, truncus arteriosus, etc. Now there is abnormal facial features which are associated with D. George syndrome. You can obviously see this cartoon and get some idea about it. There would be thymic hypoplasia, underdevelopment of the thymus. There could be cleft palate. That means the upper part of the palate is not uh, joined properly. There could be hypocalcemia, which is a result of a parathyroid hormone uh, disbalance. And ultimately, 22 stands for the 22Q. 11.2 uh, deletion. Let's talk about these symptoms in bit more details. So there are a number of facial features which are uh, kind of de uh, defective in these particular individuals. There are hooded eyes, relatively long face, small and low set ears, enlarged nose tips, short width of the eye opening, etc. Obviously, if you just look at them, they are not normal. And this dis disorder is typically <coughs> associated with a micro deletion which roughly contains about 50 genes. One such gene which is present in this particular location is known as TBX1 gene. TBX gene product is really important in specific stages of embryonic development when the facial features, heart, thyroid and parathyroid uh, glands are actually developing. So the third and the fourth pharyngeal pouch is highly enriched in this TBX1 expression. And especially in D. George syndrome, there is a defect in third and fourth pharyngeal pouch formation. Now, TBX1 is highly expressed during different stages, as we mentioned. So, the stages include facial feature formation, heart, thyroid, and parathyroid, even thymus formation. This explains why TGS patients are presented with uh, symptoms of immunodeficiency because the thymus is abrogated or thymus is malformed. There are several heart defects like ventricular septal defect that, that you can see here. And also there is arterioventricular canal defect that can be depicted here. Now there are other clinical presentations like the cleft pellet. Generally the, there is a cleft in the upper pellet. And this can lead to several other problems like speech or swallowing could be an issue for these babies. Although DGS sufferers show many degree of immunodeficiencies, the degree varies widely. So all the immunodeficiencies are not similar. In very rare cases, uh, the thymic tissue is uh, not present, but in most of the cases, to some extent, thymus is present, but in a very minuscule format. So anyway, be the thymus, thymus is present or not present, the T cell production and the T cell formation is abrogated. So when T cells are not present, there could be bacterial and fungal infection. There could be infection from opportunistic pathogens. So thymic transplantation and passive antibody treatment could add value to the individual's life and quality of lifestyle. 
so i hope this video was useful if you like this video give it a good thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in next video you can support our channel using super thanks which is present in the top right corner of the video by clicking on it you can pay via paytm paypal or upi see you in next video